Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, this channel is for parents, coaches, and athletes. Today, I'm going to talk about goal setting mistakes. Have you ever created goals but did not get a chance to achieve them? If this video is for you, I hope you stay on until the end of my presentation or sharing. I'm going to have a surprise announcement today. I'm Master Sarah Chang. Before I move on, I would like to shout out to my supporters on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube channel. Thank you so much again for your continuing support. So let's go right to mistake number one. What are the goal setting mistakes? You have goals, but you do not have specific plan. I have done that. I have so many goals in my head, but I do not have specific plan to achieve them. It's just a dream, right? If you don't take action, a goal will only be a dream. For many people have the confidence, it is just a feeling. But if you put that confidence into action, that will help improve your confidence. Therefore, when you have goals, it is important to have specific plan. Make it into monthly plan, weekly plan, daily plan, or even hourly plan. For example, if you would like to be uh, an Olympic champion or a national champion, so what is your yearly goal? Your yearly goal, um, your yearly goal could be to achieve or compete at a local tournament or any invitational tournament outside of your country. When it comes to monthly goal, it could be your training schedule, right? What time to what time? How many times in a month? When it comes to weekly goal, how many times a week do you plan to train? So when it comes to daily goal, how many hours of training if you like to do? So hourly goal, what do you plan to achieve? How many hours of sleep do you plan to have, right? Or how many power nap do you plan to have? Well, people normally just do one power nap a day, but of course some people may do two times a day or maybe more depending on the, uh, the uh, health condition. Mistake number two, you have goals, so many of them, but you keep them in your mind. You did not write it down. And because of that, you tend to forget about it. And at the end, nothing gets done. So it is very important to write down your goals to tell people about it, to tell your loved ones, to tell someone that you trust, you know, to tell your, uh, your coach or your coaches, your parents, so that they can remind you, so that they can encourage you. Mistake number three, we have too many goals and we do not know which one is more important. Therefore, we do not prioritize it, right? We tend to forget to put Number one, this is more important than number two, or this one come first and this one comes second, this one come third. For example, if you have a goal to achieve or to become a national champion, what is your priority? So the national champion is like a yearly goal, but then you have to break it out into monthly goal, right? On certain months or after, after how many months you want to be able to uh, do a certain swing kick or a back kick or a certain goal. For example, you want to earn a certain amount of income. Well, you need to break it down into monthly. Like for this month, I want to achieve this goal. I want to achieve uh, a, certain, um, a certain amount of income, right? Then when it comes to weekly goals, or oh, this week I tend to run 5K, or this week I want to uh, lose one pound. So you have the weekly goal, monthly goal, and yearly goal. Which one comes first? Of course, the immediate goal comes first as your first priority. So you know how to prioritize it. In order to achieve bigger goal, you must know which one is more important. 
you have your immediate goal first, your daily goal first, or your hourly goal first before you put on to the yearly goal. So you know the priority. Then that will help. When you know your priority, you will know the step by step or one step at a time or daily to daily goal to achieve all of them. Take number four. You set goals, but they are so far away, which means that they are may not, they are so far away means that they could be too big or they could be too hard to achieve. It is important to start your plan even though it is very far away. Therefore, it is important to write it down, break it out into specific plan two years from now, three years from now, or a year from now, how many months from now, how many weeks from now, or who should I contact, who have the connection that I can speak to. Mistake number five. Progress you make on your path to achieve your goals have not been evaluated or really been measured to see how it went, to see whether you can improve better or you could do better. It's always good to know what went well, what did not do well, and what kind of mistake you made that you tend not to repeat it. If you don't measure it, if you don't evaluate it, you may tend to repeat the mistake, right? If you know you did not do well and you know what happened, it is always good to improve on it. That will give you the awareness to improve on a mistake. You tend not to repeat it, right? You tend, you tend to avoid of repeating the same mistake. Mistake number six. After many years or many months of working hard towards your goals and you don't see that you're improving because of that, you feel so frustrated and you give up or you already gave up or you wanted to give up without changing strategy, without seeking professional help, without asking for advice. Because of that, you tend to leave it. Do you think it is worth it? You have put so much effort, time and money into it and you just give up like that? For me, no. I work so hard to achieve a goal. I want to make sure that I learn from my mistake and move on with a better strategy, change my plan. When I did not do well in a certain web category, I changed my plan. That is why I went all the way to heavyweight. That was on purpose. I changed my plan to compete in heavyweight. See the opportunity to compete in a higher or heavier category because of certain factors. I can share with you next time if you would like to. You can send me an email or leave me a comment about it if you'd like to learn more. Mistake number seven. Even though you have goals, written goals, even though you have asked for help, but things change. Circumstances change. And because of changes in your life, you didn't get the chance to reveal what happened. You didn't get the chance to learn from it, right? You always think that, oh, because I have set it up, because this is what, because, because you, maybe you think that I have written it down. This is what I'm going to do. I will stick with it. This is good, you know, have that resilience to stick with your plan is really good. Sometimes we, we need to be wiser or flexible in terms of achieving our goals. If we cannot make it this way, we can change it a bit to make it that way, right? Just like in any uh, Taekwondo competition, if a sudden X kick or rising kick did not help you to score, you may want to modify it a bit, you know? Instead of just X like that, you can lift up your knee first and then X like that, 
or kick that a different way. You are still achieving your goals, but you change your plan, you change your strategy because of circumstances. For example, because of leg injury. If you injured your right leg, you do not want to kick with your right leg. You have to change, right? Even though your right leg is the most powerful technique, is the most powerful kick that you can uh, achieve by scoring points. Even though certain kick then, even though your right leg can help you to, uh, to score, to kick high, but because of injury, you need to change your plan by not using your right leg, by using your left leg using different strategy, using different techniques. I hope you understand. Yeah, good. Last but not least is text number eight. You feel that you set up your goals, but it is not meaningful for you. You feel meaningless because you were asked to achieve certain goals to impress other people to impress certain people right i'm not saying it is not good i'm saying it is good if you know it is meaningful to you i'm not saying this is not good i'm saying if you feel you do not have the motivation to achieve certain goal if you feel that it is meaningless to achieve certain goal out of uh instruction or demand by certain uh, groups or by certain people in your life, then that may demotivate you to achieve your goal. For some people, for example, for myself, sometimes I work hard to achieve goals to help my family, right? To help my state or for people to help the country to achieve gold medals at the Olympics. As long as you feel motivated, as long as you feel it's meaningful to achieve certain goal, that's really good. It is important to know what is your goal and it is important to know if that goal is meaningful to you. For others, achieving certain goals may help them to help other people, right? When you achieve this goal, you can help so many people, then you feel so motivated to really work hard, work smart to achieve that. That is fantastic. Oh, question for the day. Which mistake do you tend to make? Or do you need help in achieving your goals? I encourage you to leave me a message down below the description. I encourage you to leave me a message below the YouTube description here or send me an email if you have any question that you need help with, for example, in goal setting. Feel free to leave me a message below the YouTube description or send me an email on the screen here. I'm happy to provide 30 minutes free consultation with regards to goal setting. Until next time, if you like this video, remember to click like. I would like to see you next week. Have confidence within you because you're special. Bye now.